all the details at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. And of course, that'll be in the show notes. All right, let's get to the last question by Don Sturgill from roadturn.com. Uh, Tom, what are the key factors in ranking a local small business organically in Google and Bing search? You are appreciated, Don Sturgill. All right. Well, first of all, I, I got to mention that I am not a local search expert. First of all, if somebody tells you they know everything about internet marketing, gu guard your wallet and run out the door as fast as you can. I've been in this 26 years, day and night. I'm the biggest fanatic you'll ever find, seven days a week, and just go crazy with this, helping people, thousands of students, tens of thousands of people in my speeches. I don't know even a fraction of things on the internet, all right? There's a sign on the door of my school. It says, I don't know everything about internet marketing, just enough to make a fortune, <laughs> right? So, so uh, first of all, uh, so I'm, I'm saying I'm not a local search expert. In fact, anybody comes to me for local search, I try to convince them to take that knowledge, keep their local business, but then sell the knowledge uh, of the local business around the world. So, that's what I'm good at. But local search changes. I mean, folks, last the last figures I got, which was like about a year ago, Google made 3,200 changes to their search algorithm in one year. And, and it's probably more this year. So it, this changes very rapidly. But there's some overriding principles you can do for local search. I checked with my... Uh, resources for local search. And I can boil this down to a couple things that you need to think about. First of all, you always have to get your Google My Business and fill it out beautifully because that's the best place to say all the great things about your company is claim your Google My Business thing. Now, here's the thing. When somebody's searching locally, here, here's an overriding principle. You know, a lot of times it'll say near me, right? Well, that near me used to be from the post office in your zip code. 